Welcome to another episode of Breakfast and Blessings. So guys, it's our third episode. It's October 27, 2020. It's a beautiful uh, Tuesday morning. No, It's a beautiful day to, to praise the Lord. It's a beautiful day to declare His goodness and His kindness sa ating mga buhay. So thank you so much for watching and for staying here at Breakfast and Blessings. My name is Neil. And I'll be hosting this um this uh, Facebook show here at uh, here at Facebook. No, um, thank you so much sa mga nanonoo, thank you so much sa lahat ng mga nagasupport pa din no sa mga gawain ng Panginoon. I believe that all these things that we are doing right now, all of these things are for the glory of God. No, para sa kanya lang. Wala ibang binibida dito kundi si God, si Jesus, of course. Nag-iisa yan, no? Nag-iisa sa ating buhay. And in this uh, third episode of Breakfast and Blessings, I want to share to you, uh, I think something important para sa ating lahat, no? something that uh, we should know, uh, sometimes ating, uh, ating nakakalimutan, nakakaligtaan, but these things, this thing no? na ako ang i-share, karong buntaga sa inyo ang tanandira, uh, is about forgiveness. Sometimes, dili na to siya kaayo ginatagan og uh, importance no ang paghatag og forgiveness sa atong isig katao but it is one of the most important things that God wants us to do now God said no na siya gani nakahatagan ni siya og uh, kapasayluan no even Jesus forgave us with all of our sins sino ba tayo para magkimkim ng galit no and right now this uh, this morning I'll be sharing that to you and I hope that we will um, learn and understand the The, the 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 idea of forgiveness and how it should be given because you forgive not for them you forgive for yourself amen nagpatawad ka hindi para sa kanila para mapatawad mo siya nagpatawad ka para mabigyan yung puso mo ng kalayaan tama ba so this morning pag-uusapan natin yan and i will cook again <laughs> because gutom ulit kasi umaga na i will cook again um yung tira-tirang um lechon from the from the birthday of Trisha no sa akin birthday na ko happy birthday Trish and ating kakainin niyan pag-uusapan natin ang kabutihan ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay and his purpose for our lives tara so ay na nga uh, before natin pag-uusapan ang ating topic this morning which is forgiveness and how it should be given and how it should be shared to other people lalo na sa mga taong naka, may, 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 you know, may nagawang kasalanan sa iyo diba? before that let's cook no? and ang lulutuin ko ngayong umaga ay lechon paksiyo na may kanin na so para siyang lechon paksiyo toppings na ilalagay ko na sa kanin sabay ko na sa kanin siya so tara let's do this cooking and um, one of the most excited part no na, na gustong gusto ko every time meron tayong episode ng breakfast and blessings ay ang pagkain kasi minsan na ako nagpe-prepare ng sarili kong breakfast so actually this is some, some something exciting no na kanang i can prepare my own meals every morning and the bible says that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of god so aside from this food that we're about to eat you also indulge in the word of god and sa kakasabi ko nga kanina sa inyo no yeah, before we eat let's pray first father god in heaven thank you so much for this wonderful day it's a wonderful day to praise you it's a wonderful day to honor and to glorify you lord prepare our hearts 
as we listen to another word from you and bless the food that we are about to eat. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Ayan, again, sa mga kakarating lang, welcome to Breakfast and Blessings. So, my name is Neil, again, ako ulit. And, pag-uusapan natin this morning is forgiveness. How is forgiveness essential? Not just to other people, but to yourself. Kasi, sabi nila, pag, pag nagpatawad ka daw, pinakawalan mo na yung taong kinainisan mo, kina, kinamumuhian mo, and yung mga taong nagbigay ng sakit sa'yo. But then, ako, I, I truly believe that once you forgive, you forgive not for them, but for you. Kasi, if you just continue to be, if you continue to be, to be bitter for the longest time, the, the truth is, you're not forgiving for them. No? You forgive for your own happiness. You forgive for your own deliverance. You forgive for your own freedom. And that's what we are about to, to talk this morning. Five things that we can do so that we can forgive. Mm. Hallelujah. Maanghang. Huh? Mahilig po talaga ako sa maanghang. Yung super anghang. Yung tipong habang kumakain, nagpapawis. Being able to forgive. So, ayan, sorry. Anganghang kasi talaga. <laughs> Pinagpapawisan na ako. Being able to forgive. So I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna share to you five things. Five lang. Hindi naman talaga marami. Mekli lang yung ating time. Five things that we can do when we forgive and what we can do for our enemies. Diba? Kasi, uh, nandyan yung always yan eh. Mga, mga enemies natin, mga kinaiinisan natin, mga kinasusuklaman natin. And that's normal because we're human beings. But what's not normal is nung yung galit mo at poot, kinikimkim mo sa mahabang panahon. So I think uh, for you who are watching right now na merong ganito, I think it's time for you to let go of the pain, of the anger, of the, the things that you want to do no, uh, to your enemies. And the first thing that I want to share to you, number one, is to resist the thoughts of revenge. Ayan, sabi sa Romans chapter 12 verse 19, Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. No? It's too clear, no, sinabi sa Romans chapter 12, no, Vengeance is mine. I will repay. Sometimes, di tama kadawat na naay yung pasakit sa tua. No? Natin matanggap na may mga taong nag-inflict ng pain sa atin. And we always wanna say this, humanda. No? Humanda lang yun. Ako yun ang manimalos. We always say that. But, but God said no, in His Word, no, Jesus reminds us na do not repay no? do not repay vengeance with vengeance. No? Dahil nasaktan ka niya, sasaktan mo din siya. Dahil may nagawa siyang masama sa iyo, gagawa ka rin ng masama sa kanya. No, ka nang manimalos ba? And we, we all know this, pero wala na ito na, ano na, na, na sometimes, ah, sinabi pala sa Bible yun, na wag daw, na masama pala. Yes, it is. And God, siya na bahala. No? Si Lord, and, alam natin, nakakampi natin si Lord. And the Bible says, that if, if, if God is with you, then who can be against you? So if there are people who are against you, probably God, si God na bahala dun sa kanila. Diba? Kasi, God is with you eh. God is your alliance. God is your kakampi. God is your confidant. So when God is with you, then all those people who are against you are actually against God. Diba? So the wrath of God will be upon them. Anak lang na siya. Sometimes, pinapahirapan natin yung mundo by taking um, revenge on our own hands. No? Nakanang kitang malimalos. God will repay that. No? If you just allow Him and let go of the pain and then ipaubaya mo na kay Lord. Diba? Simple lang naman yun eh. Diba? It's just simple. Next. Alright. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 15 it says here 
See that no one repays another with evil for evil. Amen? Don't seek to do them mischief. Diba? Same down sa first din. Ang most same lang sa first, uh, na first ating point na, na sinabing um, do not repay. Do not, do, not, do, not, do not do revenge. The second part is do not seek to do them mischief. Kanang, kanang magmaro-maro ka sa ilaha. Diba? Imo silang maruan. Imo silang yaga-yagaan. Imo silang Yeah, you know, you 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 do, you do evil to them, no? Magawa ka ng masama. Pag-iisipan mo sila ng masama, mag-iisip ka, no? May mga thoughts sa isip mo kung paano kung paano mo sila gawan ng ng mischief. And it it it's not a good thing. Sometimes we need to be reminded of all these things kasi kita normally, no? Normally, what we do as humans, maningkamot man kita makabalos. And that's not forgiveness. And sometimes, no, makaingon ta ba na, sorry, it's really ang hang. Makaingon ta sometimes ba na, ah, kanang, um, na-forgive ko naman, napatawad ko na sa lahat ng mga nagawa sa akin, napatawad ko na. But then, deep inside your heart, may pinaplano ka pang gawin. No, may pinaplano ka pang gawin. Whether good or bad, may pinaplano kang gawin. No? You, 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 you you think of things you seek things that would you know impact on their lives no para ma-remind sila na oh ako yung sinaktan mo di ba ako yung pinagmalibasan mo and and, and i want to remind you na i'm not i'm not a nobody di ka ana ta eh di ba and we should not be guilty of that no if we are if we are then we should be sorry for that you know? forgive for, forgive na totoo talagang forgive na talagang pinatawad mo na na talagang na talagang okay na sa kalooban mo, di ba? It doesn't need to have reconnection, no? Forgiveness doesn't require reconnection, but at least wala ato ni mo siya ginaccount. No, lahat ng sakit, imo na siyang let go. Next. Wish well to them. Luke chapter 6 verse 28 says, "Bless those who curse you." Something na Mahirap gawin. To bless them. ba? Diba? Even if sinaktan ka. Hmm? To wish them well. Mahirap kaya yung gawin. ba? Diba? Kay familiar yung song ni Adele. May kanta si Adele dyan eh. Yung ano, yung um, I pray nothing, uh, I wish nothing but the best for you. ba? Diba? And it's so selfless. To wish nothing but the best for the person na iniwan ka. For the person na na pinabayaan ka. For the person na sinaktan ka. It's 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 a, it's so selfless to wish them well. Pero the Bible wants you to do that. God wants you to do that. It's His command actually in Luke chapter 6. Nung sinabi niyang, bless those who curse you. Bless those who put pain on you. Bless those who 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 hate you. Bless all of those people that you consider your enemies. Even the Bible says, "Love your enemies," right? So, it's part of forgiveness to wish them well. I hope masaya ka, <laughs> kahit sinaktan mo na ako ng sobra sobra. I hope masaya ka, masaya ka na. It's okay. I wish you well. Ngano na siya, di ba? It's forgiveness. Part of forgiveness. Next, grieve at their calamities. Oh, tama ba? No. Pag may mga unos silang pinagdadaanan, pag may mga pinagdadaanan silang hirap at sakit sa kanilang mga buhay, you grieve with them, no? Magluksa ka together with them. It's so hard to do, 'di ba? Sometimes when something happens to our to our enemies, we 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 rejoice, 'di ba? When something happens to our enemies, we 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 celebrate. Ay, salamat. Ay, salamat na may resig yun siya. <laughs> But the Bible says in Proverbs 24 verse 17, "Do not rejoice when your enemy falls." And do not let your hearts be glad when he stumbles. Hirap, hirap, right? No, do not, not to rejoice when 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 they fall, and not to celebrate when they stumble. Pero the Bible wants you to do that. But every time your enemies fall and your enemies, you know, be in pain, or when your enemies fail with their achievements, do not rejoice. Grieve with them, no? 
Ang hirap niyang gawin, actually. But it's what the Bible wants us to do. It's what, it's what God wants us to do. And if you believe in God, and if you believe, you believe in Jesus, you believe in everything that the Bible says. No? Dili ni mo lahi lahi o na, ay, hindi na napil. I believe in Jesus, pero I don't believe in this certain verse. No. If you believe in Jesus, you believe the entire Bible. Tama ba? So, the Bible says here, do not, do not rejoice when your enemy falls. So, what do you do when your enemy falls? You pick them up. You help them stand. You help them. No? Imo silang i, you know, hey, friend, I'm here to help you. No? Actually, kahit di kita friend. No? But I'm here to help. Because I am a changed person. I love God. I believe in Jesus. I think that's, that's enough. That's more than enough for me to help you. So selfless. I hope that we are learning. I hope that we are learning. No? Lastly, the fifth. Ito. Hindi naman siguro ito mahirap, di ba? Pray for them. Pagdasal mo sila. Maybe... Maybe it's not it's 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 not that hard pag sabihin pero when you're at the moment of praying and galit ka kasi may galit na namumuo sa puso mo may may, may galit sa loob no inside your heart is the anger pain strife and all these negative things negative thoughts in your mind and in your heart ang hirap ipagdasal ng ating mga enemies but in Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 it says but I say to you ito na yun Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Pray for them. Do not pray na, Lord, I pray, mamirisi siya. Lord, I pray na makarma siya. No, it's not that. Lord, I pray that you would give him a good heart. Diba? Mga very simple prayers. Lord, I pray that you would, that, that I could forgive him. Lord, I pray that he could forgive me as well. And that they could forgive me as well. I pray, Lord, na maging okay kami soon. Maybe not now, but time heals all wounds. Right? So, you know, in, lahat ng sugat naghihilom. Yeah, in time. If yung sugat mo hindi naghilom, yung problema na nasa'yo. No? Taas yung blood sugar mo. <laughs> if yung sugat mo hindi naghilom, ikaw maghilom ka. <laughs> no, kidding aside. If your if your scars and your wounds doesn't heal, maybe it's time to ask yourself. No? It's time to ask yourself, Lord, what's wrong with me? Because normally human beings, we are capable of forgiving, no? To forgive, so maybe not forget. Because ganon yun eh. We we can always forgive, but we can never forget. Because anjan yun always maalala mo yung sakit. Because syempre, um, may remembrance no, may mga wounds. May mga sugat. May remembrance yung lahat ng sakit. So, it's not necessary that we could forget the pain, but we can forgive the person who inflicted the pain. No, it, it's only a matter of understanding. Understanding the purpose of God in your life. Understanding His love for you. Understanding the your capacity as a person to let go of the pain and allow God to do the intervening for you. Because... At the end of the day, you will benefit from all the pain. You know what? Sa kabutihan ng Panginoon. No, because He is ang ingay ng mga aso. <laughs> ang ingay. Anyway, since we know that God is so good and He was able to forgive you and me from all of your and my sins no, sa ating lahat, I think it's it's high time for us to forgive sa mga taong nagpasakit sa atin, sa mga taong pinayak, iniwan tayo sa ere, sa mga taong niloko tayo, sa mga pamilya, no? Even parents and family members, relatives who did wrong to us. I think it's time for us to forgive. Um, hindi dapat manggaling sa akin because ako mismo, um, medyo matagal din yung time na nakapagpatawad ako sa lahat ng mga taong Nasaktan ako. Sinaktan, sinaktan ako. At nasaktan ko din. And it took me a while to realize that I don't actually have to do it for them. I have to do it for me. For my own peace of mind. For my own mental health. And at that point of my life, no, na hindi ako makapagpatawad, hindi ko rin mapatawad yung sarili ko. 
na hinayaan ko mga pagdaanan ng ganung klasing sakit. But it's 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 done, no? Nangyari na siya. And I cannot cry over spilled milk. So what I can do right now is to forgive myself, to forgive them, and to allow God to heal whatever that is broken. To allow God to change my heart. And right now, that I'm at the right position, no? Nasa tamang position ako, nasa tamang lugar ako, wherein I can say that I am a changed person, I can gladly say that, Hey, Lord, God, thank you so much for changing me. So, ayan, di ko naubos yung pagkain, but I hope that nagbusog kayo no? sa ating pinag-usapan ngayon. May natutunan kayo sa ating pinag-usapan ngayon. And I want to pray for you before we end. Father God in heaven, Lord, thank you so much for this opportunity that we are about to we were given a chance to talk about you, about, about your goodness, about your kindness. This morning, Lord, we've learned about forgiveness. And Lord, right now, soften our hearts so that we may be able to forgive others. And they may also forgive us. Thank you so much, Lord, for this chance to be reminded of how good you are and how you forgave us sa mga kasalanan namin. Thank you so much, Lord, for your, for your love and for your understanding. Right now, we declare that our hearts be free from pain, that our hearts be free from anger and envy. Thank you so much, Lord, because you are so strong that whatever that is inside our hearts, you can remove that with the power of the glory of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for everything, Lord. I hope and we pray right now that we will be free from all the pain. Lord, bless the people who are watching. Forgive them for all their sins. And they may also be forgiven, Lord God. And they will forgive other people as well. Dagang salamat, ginoo si mong pagkamaayo. We bring back all the glory, honor, and praises to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah! No? God is good all the time. And, hindi ka pa ako natapos sa aking kinakain, but, I hope to see you again next Thursday. I mean, this Thursday, um, October 29, for another episode of Breakfast and Blessings. So God bless you all. Have a, have a happy Tuesday.